Okay, in this video I'm going to be looking at solving some linear equations and in particular I'm going to start with one of the simplest linear equations I can think of and that is where we've got a variable, let's call it x, multiplied by some other constant. I'm going to pick 6 here and on the right hand side it's going to be equal to let's say 48. Now when we solve this kind of equation what we want to do is rearrange it, apply mathematical operations so that we can get rid of anything that's obscuring x from us. We want to be able to end up saying x is equal to something or other, some number. So that's our kind of target here. What we're going to do is apply some operations here. We're going to have to do it to both sides of the equation because otherwise we'll change what the equation actually means. And in doing so we'll turn this equation into something that looks like this equation over here. So first of all, when I see this problem, I see an x, the variable we're solving for, multiplied by a number. That's how I set it up. What I'm going to do to get rid of something when I multiply by a number, the way I get rid of it is to divide by the same number. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go 6x divided by 6. Now what we're going to have to do, though, is also divide the other side. Like I said earlier, we need to divide both sides by 6 in this case. Otherwise, we change what the equation actually means doing things to both sides, the exact same thing to both sides, actually doesn't change the equation, it just changes the way it looks. And that's exactly what we want. And you'll see here 6x divided by 6. Those 6s we can cancel out because those are common factors on the top and the bottom. And we'll end up with 1x, or if you like, just x. And over on the right hand side, 48 divided by 6. Now that's uh, something we should be able to do, or you can chuck it in your calculator if you like. You should find that that's equal to 8. So, we've gone through, done that operation, and found x is equal to something, just like we wanted. x is equal to 8 in this case. And we've done that by applying an operation to both sides of the equation, dividing by 6, the number we've originally been multiplied by. We end up with a nice, neat little solution there. 